A good workspace increases productivity and promotes creativity. It should also reflect your personality and streamline your workflow. Hi, my name is Reynard, and in this video I'm going to give you a tour of my workspace and some tips to set a proper ergonomic setup for increased productivity. An office or work desk can sometimes be overwhelming due to the amount of things lying around as well as messy cables to power up all our electronics. The first thing to consider is your workflow. In my case, I have two laptops, one for my day job and another for personal and side hustle. For my needs, I require two monitors but instead went with an ultra-wide from Samsung in order to get a cleaner look without sacrificing function. I've opted for the 2 meter wide IKEA Linmon tabletop with Alex drawers to store all my belongings. I've used both the table and drawers for about 4 years now. There's definitely some marks but all around it's a solid affordable table and does its job well. Organizing each drawer to serve different purposes is important so you won't have to scramble for things when the time comes. I've placed my top drawers for frequently used items such as cables, laptop case, microfiber clouds, and my favorite eye supplement. To minimize clutter, I've also installed a cable router underneath the desk, and cable clips at the corner of the desk which houses all my frequently used chargers. A small table plant and diffuser help brighten up the space while keeping the cables out of sight. To the center of the table, I've installed a USB-C dock with power delivery, which connects to the monitor, mouse, and keyboard, as well as connecting to the laptop by a single USB-C port while charging the laptop at the same time. This way, I can seamlessly switch between laptops without having to unplug all different cables. I've opted for a Logitech wireless keyboard and mouse to minimize cable clutter. A wireless charger is used to charge my phone and earphones. The most important part of the setup is the chair, which is the Hermann Miller Mira 2 with butterfly back. It has adjustable lumbar support, adjustable arms, adjustable seat depth, and seat angle adjustment. I've chosen to splurge more on this as I've hurt my back on my previous chair, which is not a pleasant experience. It's definitely on the pricier side, but I look at it as an investment for both my back and comfort. To the left of the table is a tray I got from Amazon that houses most frequently used essentials such as my portable hard drives, cables, earbuds, wallets, and an air freshener as I live in an open plan space. Behind are two ring decorations to balance out the space. I've also placed a coaster for my drinks as it is important to stay hydrated while working. I've placed my printer underneath the desk so it is out of sight and doesn't take up valuable desk space. There's also an iPad stand which is stored inside the drawer, which I'll occasionally use for playing videos on my iPad while doing a more routine task. Above my workspace are hanging shelves from IKEA with a black and white aesthetic and a bonsai plant for contrast. I'm a big fan of this mid-century designer, so I've chosen to get prints of some of the most iconic furniture of the 20th century. To the side of the desk is an IKEA shelving unit with some books, Pokemon figures, and Google Home Hub. The hub has been very useful in setting up reminders and helps keep track of time. On the other side is an armchair to relax, watch videos or read books while taking a break. Above is a wall-mounted scone lamp which has adjustable arms useful for nighttime. I've installed a Philips Hue lamp to be able to adjust the temperature and dim the lights when needed. That concludes my desk tour. If you're interested in anything you see in the video, I've placed a link down in the description below for you to check out. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe for more upcoming content around home and design. And get in touch by leaving a comment in the section below.